Hello everyone, welcome back to our Hatha Yoga class. This is our part two. So if you're just rejoining me, we just come out of our lovely um, child's pose, Balasana. So now this class here, this part, we're gonna start in our mountain. All right, so remember the breathing is in through the nose, out through the nose. Nice, long, smooth breath. Take it easy, do what you can. Listen to your body, all right? <clears throat> so we're going to start in our mountain pose, Tatasana. Standing nice and tall, feet are hip distance apart. Being aware of your posture, relax the shoulders, hands to the side, let's breathe. Nice, long, full, smooth breath. Now while we're here, I want you to do a little checklist. Go through your body looking for tension. You know, maybe wiggle your toes, check your knees and your thighs. If they're tight, let them go. Your belly, let it go. Your buttocks, let them go. Shoulders, just relax. If you find you have a hard time relaxing the shoulders, roll them out. Just roll them out if you need to, all right? One more breath. All right, perfect. So I want you to shake it out before we go to finish. You know, roll the shoulders out, shake the arms out, shake those legs out if you need to, all right? <clears throat> so we're gonna go right into our lovely little sequence right now. So we're gonna hold um, every posture for three breaths and I will cue you on when we're going to move, all right? If you find that there's some positions or some postures that are a little bit more challenging for you, because these ones are not too bad, um, then just come back to your mountain and just wait and to resume to find a position you know, that's gonna work for you, all right? I'm gonna probably be doing mine from the side, but you can stay where you are just so that you can see me, all right? So coming to the front mid mat, I should say, let's inhale up, exhale, inhale into a gentle back bend. Or just reach up to the ceiling, whatever feels good for you. Relax, breathe, one more. Exhale, hinging up the hips, soften the knees, come down, ragdoll. Just hang out. If you, this makes you dizzy, come up halfway if you have to. This is our ragdoll. This is a full body stretch, lengthening the spine, really releasing the shoulders, the muscles in the back, keep your knees soft. From here, we're going to do a nice little move called an elephant. One hand on top of the other, it doesn't matter which one, take a breath. And on the exhale, swing both hands in front of the left foot. Very gentle stretch for the right side of the body. One more breath. Exhale, swing your hands in front of the right foot. Or I should say your little trunk. <clears throat> exhale, back to center. Release the hands, take a breath. Exhale, bend the knees, come up. Push yourself up very slowly. Reverse the blood flow so you don't get dizzy, all right? Roll the shoulders out if you need to. Coming to the front of the mat, I'm gonna start from the side so you can see what I'm doing. Preparing for pyramid, take a breath. On the exhale, step back. Big step with the right leg. Back foot's on a bit of an angle. Check your alignment again. Ankle, knee, foot, hip, everything is nice and lined up, especially that knee keeping you nice and safe. All right, pyramid. Hips are square, let's go. Inhale up, exhale, take a breath. Exhale, hinging up the hips, fold over both hands on the knee. This is engaged pyramid for beginners. Those of you who wanna go further, come all the way down to full pyramid. Now ideally the leg should be straight. If this bothers you, if it bothers your knee, your hip or your lower back, soften your knee for your own comfort. Don't be shy. Preparing for warrior one, take a breath. On the exhale, bend the knee, find your lunge. When come up all the way. Warrior one. Now with your lunge, if you can, I want you to look down. You should be able to see the tip of the toe from the tip of the knee. When you do that, you know that everything is nice and lined up and your knee is safe. All right, so that's how you check if you have a nice, good lunge. And this is our warrior one, nice and anchored to the floor. Take a breath, preparing for warrior two. Exhale, left arm to the front, right to the back. 
Your body will turn slightly to the right. Arms are shoulder height. Looking at the tips of the left finger. Back is straight. Bring the hips out a little so you're nice and lined up. Keep that lunge. Breathe. Warrior two. Preparing for a reverse warrior. Right hand on the back of the right leg, left arm up to the ceiling. On the exhale, keep your lunge. Perfectly still, really challenging your balance as well. So we're going to try our humble warrior. Take a breath, exhale. Straighten your spine, both hands onto the small of the back. Keep your lunge. Exhale, turn your body in front of the left leg. Exhale, fold over. Humble warrior. From here, prepare for twisted warrior. Take a breath, stay in this position. Exhale, release the hands, bring them into Namaste Prayer Pose. And on the exhale, I want you just to turn to the right. If you can, right elbow up. If this, don't go too far. If you find this is a bit much, even if you just do it a little bit, do what you can. This is going to challenge your balance. It's a little bit of a, it's a twisted warrior. One more breath. From here, we're going to get into our downward dog. Exhale, come to center. Straighten the left leg. Exhale, down. Downward dog. Tail is up high. Back is straight. Shoulders are relaxed. Head is hanging down. From here, we're going to do our crouching tiger. Crouching tiger is on the tips of the toes, the knees are bent. If you can't get on the tips of the toes, just go on the balls of the feet, stay where you are, just bend the knees. Crouching tiger. One more breath. Exhale, dog. One more breath. Exhale, walk up to mountain. Come up nice and slow, all the way up, very slowly so you don't get dizzy. Come to the front of the mat again. Take a breath. Exhale, right leg back. Inhale, arms up, shoulder height. Exhale, turn your feet to the right, turn your heels on your heels, five star. Legs are straight. If you have to soften your legs for your own comfort, you can do that. Five star, breathe. Try to relax your thighs and your knees. From here, we're gonna get into temple pose. So it's basically a squat. Take a breath, exhale. Arms, shoulder height, bending at the elbow. Now in this temple pose, like I said, this is basically a squat. Try to keep your back straight. Even if you can't go down very far, this is really gonna get a little fire into those thighs. Back is straight as best as you can. One more breath. Exhale, five star, push yourself up. Use those nice strong legs. Preparing for warrior two with a left lunge. On the next exhale, turn your feet, lunge, warrior two. Shoulders are relaxed, the breath is flowing, it's nice and smooth. Let's get back to pyramid. On the exhale, windmill, right arm down, straighten left leg, pyramid. One more breath. 
On the exhale, bend the knee, come up very slowly. Come back to mountain, nice and slow. All right, that was nice, lovely. Roll the shoulders out, shake it out, shake those legs out, all right? And let's see if we can do that again, all right? So this was the right, we did the left, now we'll do the other side, all right? Do the left, all right? So just take it easy. Maybe this is the side of the body that is better for you, that's stronger, a little more balanced, or maybe it's the weaker side. So make the little adjustments if you have to. When I want you to have a straight leg, if it really doesn't feel good, soften your knee a little bit. You always have room to make little adjustments, but it all comes back to the breath. All right, so just try and relax. Don't overthink anything we do, all right? Just smile, just enjoy yourself, all right? So let's start again from our mountain, all right? Roll the shoulders out a little more if you need to. Ready, let's go, inhale up, exhale. Inhale into a gentle back bend. Just bring yourself right here, right now, right in the moment. Focus on how you feel in this moment, how your body moves, where you are, the position your body's in. On the exhale, let's go. Hinging up the hips, swan dive down, soften the knees, rag doll. Just let it all go. Preparing for elephant, one hand on top of the other, doesn't matter which one. On the exhale, swing your trunk in front of the left foot. Very gentle stretch for the right side of your body. One more breath. Exhale, swing your trunk in front of the left, uh, the right foot. Exhale back to center, take a breath. Exhale, come up. Slowly, so you don't get dizzy all the way up. Perfect, roll the shoulders out. All right, so I want you to come to the front of the mat. I'm gonna to come to the side so you can see what I'm doing. All right. Now, right to the very front of the mat, standing tall, prepare for pyramid with the left leg. So take a breath. On the exhale, step back. Big step, back foot's on an angle. Right leg, make sure everything is lined up, hip, knee, ankle, foot. You can rock back and forth. Make sure that you're nice and anchored to the floor and you feel really nice and kind of stuck to the floor so you don't worry about sliding and slipping around. Now, hips are square, let's go. Inhale up, exhale. Big breath. Exhale, hinging up the hips. Engage pyramid on the knee or all the way down if you can or half and half, it doesn't matter. Again, adjust your knee to what feels good for you because when you have a straight leg like this, this is really working the hamstring and the knee to find a place that feels good for you. Let's go to warrior one, take a breath. Exhale, bend the knee, push yourself up. Perfectly balanced, feeling strong. You've got a nice lunge. If you can, look down to make sure that your tip of the knee to the tip of the toe Warrior two, next exhale. Right arm to the front, left to the back. You're looking at the tips of the right finger. Your body turns slightly to the left. Now the hips are nice, nice and lined up. Back is straight, shoulders relaxed. Try to relax your legs, your feet, everything. Just breathe. Now let's try and reverse warrior. Right arm comes up, left hand on the back of the left leg. On the exhale. Preparing for humble warrior, take a breath. Exhale, straighten your body, both hands onto the small of the back. Take a breath, exhale, turn your body in front of the right leg. Exhale, fold over. Humble warrior. One more breath. Exhale, stay in this position, release the arms, bring them into Namaste Prayer Pose. Let's do Twisted Warrior to the left. 
on the exhale, if you can. One more breath. Exhale, come to center, preparing for downward dog. Take a breath. Exhale, hands on the floor. Down dog. Move your feet back a little if you have to. Find a place of balance, of comfort. Tail is up high, back is straight, head is hanging down. Preparing for crouching tiger. If you want to skip it and stay in dog, you can as well. This one here, the knees are bent, we're on the tips of the toes. If you can't go on your toes, just bend your knees from where you are now. On the exhale, crouching tiger. Back to downward dog on the exhale, back to dog. Let's walk ourselves up to mountain from here. Come up nice and slow. All right, front of the mat, take a breath. Exhale, step back, left leg. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, turn the heels to the left, five star. Try to relax your thighs if they're tight, your knees, let them go. All right, shoulders are nice and loose. Let's see if we can get into our temple pose again. On the exhale. One more breath. Exhale, five star. Come up nice and strong. A little fire into those thighs. Let's try warrior two again. The right lunge. On the exhale, turn your feet to the right. Find your lunge, warrior two. And one last time for pyramid. On the next exhale, windmill, left arm down, straighten right leg. Both hands on the knee, engage pyramid, or all the way down, or half and half. <clears throat> for one more breath. On the exhale, bend the knee, come back to table, onto the hands and knees, moving nice and slow. All right, let's get into our child's pose. Let's take a nice little rest. Open up the knees a little wider if you'd like. Take a big breath, exhale, scooch back. <clears throat> now, child's pose. Make sure that your head and your neck are always supported so you can rest them on your stacked fist. You can rest your forehead you know, on your block if it's handy, on your stacked hands or on the floor. <clears throat> and this is our child's pose, Balasana. A resting place, a neutral place, and a full body stretch. So just let it all go. Let your body completely relax. Surrender to your breath. And rest. Absorb the benefit of your practice so far. For one more breath. On the next exhale, bring yourself out of your child's pose. I want you to very gently get yourself onto your back. So come down onto your back, nice and slow, all the way down. Back is nice and anchored to the floor, shoulders are relaxed. I want you to keep your knees bent. So we're going to do a nice reclining bound angle pose. So I'd like you to put your feet together and just let your knees fall open. Very gentle. 
arms on the floor. Just relax and breathe. Now reclining bound angle poses is a wonderful stretch for the hips, releasing the hips, the inner thighs, the pelvic floor groin area, the buttocks as well. So just let your body sink into the ground. Just rest, breathe, keep that breath going. Try to relax your thighs and your hips. One more breath. And on the next exhale, slowly bring the knees up, very, very gently. I want you to straighten the left leg, keep the right one bent. Always make sure that your back is comfortable and your shoulders are relaxed. On the exhale, I want you to bring up just the right leg, give it a big stretch. This is a single leg stretch. Now the closer your knee is to your chest, the deeper the stretch you will get. So make the adjustments to what your body needs right now. This is a nice stretch again for the thigh, for the hip, the buttock, the pelvic floor area, even into your lower back. One more breath. And on the next exhale, slowly release. Let's see if we can do the other side. So very gently reposition. Bend the left one as you straighten the right one. Adjust your shoulders for comfort always. On the exhale, bring up the left one and give that one a nice big hug. So the stretches we do at the end of the class like this, you know, just adjust them to what feels good for you. You don't have to have a deep stretch. If you need a little one or if you need a deeper one, make those adjustments as you go along. And these are nice stretches that you can do to help you uh, release the tension of the day and help you fall asleep or also to help you get out of bed in the morning too. On the next exhale, release. Now, let's bend the right one. Let's do a hug with both knees, both legs. On the exhale, bring it up, big hug. And just rock and breathe. Close your eyes. And this is lengthening the spine, really giving yourself a beautiful back massage. Rock and breathe. Little circles to the left. And let's release that lower back a little bit more. And little circles to the right. Knees to center, soles of the feet onto the floor. Now I'd like you to straighten the left leg again. Let's prepare for supine twist pose. Right foot on top of the left knee, very gently bring up the left hand, put it on the right knee, right arm stretch it out, shoulder height. Take a breath and on the exhale, as you look over the right shoulder, gently pressing on the right knee to the left. Now I want you to pay attention to how your left leg feels. You should be able to wiggle your toes. That leg is so relaxed right now. And your right foot is gently resting on the left knee, so there's no pressure on the knee. So this particular stretch is, like I said, called the supine twist pose. This is for your spine, but also you get a bonus stretch into your hip area, your buttock. So if you want a deeper stretch, you can push on the knee a little more or less. Keep the breath going. One more. On the exhale, let's release. Let's go to the other side. So gently straighten the right leg. Left foot, very gently on the right knee. Bring up the right hand, put it on the left knee. Left arm, stretch it out. And on the exhale, look over the left shoulder as you gently press on the left knee to the right. One more breath. On the exhale, straighten leg. All right, straighten the leg, inhale, arms up to the ceiling, exhale, bring them over your head. And I want you to stretch your body out, fingertips to the tips of your toes. Now you can readjust, you can reposition your arms. If this bothers your shoulder, you can put your arms anywhere else you'd like. All right, and just let your body feel nice and heavy and just let it sink into the ground and lengthen your body, fingertips to the tips of your toes. Feeling long, but also feeling really relaxed and calm. Feeling heavy. For one more breath. On the next exhale, slowly bring the hands to the side of your body, palms facing the ceiling. 
Hands are open to receive guidance from our higher self. And let's prepare for our closing. Savasana, meditation, relaxation, reflection time. However you choose to bring this into your practice today, resting comfortably in your corpse pose. At this point, you can bend your knees for comfort if you'd like. You can lay on your side. Some people like to have a blanket for Savasana. Some like to have a little pillow. Uh, whatever place you can find on your mat that you can just completely relax. And now that we're resting in Savasana, relaxation pose, let's take a minute to thank ourselves for our practice today. Let's take a moment to scan our body and our mind for any remaining tension and let's let compassion melt that tension into our mat. It's important for relaxation to have a tension-free body and a tension-free mind. Keep your eyes relaxed, feel no tension on your forehead and reach within for that inner smile. You know, the one that brings you joy when you think of someone, of somewhere, of something that made you happy inside. Those are the times that we visit the past. Remember times where we felt peace and that all was well. Revisit times where we felt strong and peaceful and we knew that all that was happening was just the way it was supposed to be. Is a tool that brings peace within and without, meaning it's still there even if it's not. That is meditation. Imagine that an inner smile being meditative. It is because it's a tool of recognition and of appreciation of what is. Always welcome a situation in your life that brings you a smile so that you can access it within whenever you need it. And finally, let's take a couple of minutes to embrace the silence in our space and in our minds. Now let's go find that place within ourselves that speaks to us, this, that holds the stillness, that holds the proper questions and all of our answers. Our truth and our identity, Satnam. Let your mind, your body, and your soul absorb the vibrations of the bells, bringing your own energies to its appropriate frequency. Slowly bring yourself back into the room, back into your space. Wiggle your fingers and toes to bring life back to your body. And when you're ready, very slowly and carefully bring yourself back up to our cross-legged Sukhasana position or any seated position at this point that's comfortable for you. All right, take your time. I know it's hard to get off the floor. Comfortable on your sit bones, back is nice and straight. Let's bring our hands together. Let's rub and vigorously activate that hand chakra. Hands onto your heart center, close your eyes. Let's take a nice, long, smooth breath together to tune in. Inhale. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Satna. Shanti, Shanti, peace, peace. May love and light be with you always. Namaste. All right, then we're done. Lovely. All right, that always feels so good. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, today is April 20th, by the way. All right, so it's uh, a little cool out today, but it's all good. It's still April 20th. So thanks again for joining me. It's always absolutely my pleasure to do this for you and for me as well. And just waiting for things to settle down and we can get back to work, back to classes. But in any case, let's do this while we can. So have a wonderful day and take it easy. Take care of yourself. Smile and uh, get outside. Get some fresh air. Get the body moving. Stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a lovely little half hour chair yoga class and as well a nice half hour of Pilates um, on the mat. So if you're interested, you can check that out as well. All right, so thanks again, and uh, my name is Susan. Till next time.